Oh, hello, everyone. How is everyone doing? It's Mesha Selfie. Today, we are going to be looking at some of the scariest websites on the internet. Do not go on these bloody websites or you might die. The first website we're going on is Bong Chong Dong Ghost. Bong Chong Dong Ghost? Now, this website is basically an interactive comic book. Warning, this webtoon is a special horror episode. Since it contains shocking scenes, reader discretion is advised. Bong Chong Dong Ghost. This story is based on true eyewitness accounts. It was around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tying night study session at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people even at night since my apartment complex is very big. Uh-oh, she's all alone at night. What's she gonna do? Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Oh my goodness, I do that too. I'm not gonna lie. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes. Although there wasn't anyone around me, I looked up to see who there was and saw a woman walking in front of me but she looked a little strange i could say that she looked crippled she was limping and struggling to walk in front of me since she was walking very slow i soon caught up with her up close i was able to see her even better she was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if her joints in her body had been twisted worse her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any close to her, nor did I have the guts to pass by her. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. That was kind of freaky. Oh my God, that noise. Oh my God. Ah! You know, People say that if you are really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where is my baby? Where's your baby? I don't know where this dumbass girl baby is. My thoughts were racing to a question. Oh my God. I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gives me the chills thinking that moment. <gasps> um, um, um. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Uh, uh, over there? I just wanted to get her away from me. Then she limped towards where I had pointed to and I couldn't see her anymore. Oh my goodness, is that it? Is that over now? Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anywhere but to get to a place where there would be people around. Oh no, oh no. At that moment, oh shit. I heard her screaming from far away! <coughs> oh my god! Jesus! Jesus Christ! Okay. Alright, I was prepared for that. But come on now, that's disgusting. Jesus. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, an apartment complex in Bong Chong Dong Guan Gu, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as Sir Nain Cho, a divorcee due to her extra marital affair, she had lost custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around the apartment complex several times. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, that's just stupid. That was just like a jump scare comic book stupid website. Okay, for our next scary website, it is a website called Take This Lollipop. Now this website apparently links to your real Facebook page. Okay, we have a scary bloody asylum. Uh-oh. Is it like a movie? It's like a movie. Oh no, I've got a creepy guy. Is you on my bloody Facebook? No. No. Uh, guys, he's logging onto Facebook. Oh no, he, he better stay off my bloody shitty Facebook. I swear to God, if he sends me a friend request. Oh! What's he doing? What's he doing? 
Oh no, those are pictures, those are my pictures. Those are my friends. I have no friends. Oh no, he's angry. He's like, this guy has no friends. What's he doing? Oh no, that, that's my school photos. That's my phone, no, that's my pro picture. Oh no, guys, he knows everything about me. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, <gasps> he has a picture of me. Oh no, what's he doing? Why is he so angry? I don't know this guy. What? Uh, what's, what's he doing? Uh, guys. Uh, oh, that's where I live. He knows where I live. He, he, he had, he had my house. Oh no, those are my school photos. <laughs> He's looking at my school photos. He's like, yeah, I love him. Guys, he's coming to drive to my house! He's coming to drive to my house! No, no, you better stay out of it! You just He knows where I live and he's coming to my house! No. 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 Hello? No. No, no, please, please, no, no. Ah! Ah! Alright, so this next website is called Death Date. Org. Now, if you put in your information to this website, it will tell you the exact moment where you are planning to die. I don't want to know when I'm going to die, but I'm doing it for this video just for you guys. All right, first you put in your mode. Am I optimistic or pessimistic? So that basically means you see certain situations positively being optimistic or negatively pessimistic. I would say I'm a bloody happy person, okay? I would be optimistic. All right, my name is Brad. My email is titty at gmail.com. My country is the United Kingdom. My birthday is the 5th of May, 1995. My sex is, uh, uh, male, ju just about. I am 5 foot 11 inches and I weigh 83 kilograms. I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I don't do drugs, even though everyone thinks that I do, you know, I don't. Let us now calculate when I'm going to die. You will live exactly 22 years, nine months, and 20 days. But if that's true, that means I'm going to die at exactly, at exactly. Okay, no, but seriously, it says I'm gonna live to I'm 85 years old and my death day is the 25th of February, 2081. And I have 74% of my life remaining. Oh my God, I have 63 years left to live. I can't wait that long. Can I just die any quicker, please? All right, now this next website is called Brain Jar and it's basically an online Ouija board. Now, if you guys don't know what a Ouija board is, it's a board which you can use to talk to ghosts and spirits. So we first ask the Ouija board a question. What is your name? <gasps> oh no, the Ouija board's moving. Hello? <gasps> uh, N, N, O, T, not C, L, C, L, E, A, not clear. What, his name's not clear? What's that supposed to mean? All right, Mr. Ghost and Spirit Man. Do you like Diddy? The Ouija board has an answer. Huh, 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 huh. No! How can this dumbass ghost not like the titty, man? This stupid ass ghost don't like no titty? I don't believe that shit. All right, this next website is called staggeringbeauty.com. Now, in the corner, it says, warning contain flashing images. And all that's on screen is this bloody black worm. Shake vigorously. Uh, why? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um. What? Mr. Worm? Yeah, Brandon, what's up? What do you mean, what's up? You bloody went crazy. Uh, shake vigor. Oh my, okay. Okay, uh, let's not do that. Guys, I could never get a seizure, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video there. That was me going on some scary websites. If you guys enjoyed the video, let's try and hit 10,000 likes and I'll make a part two, baby. Either way though, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, man. Slayer guys, love you, bye bye.